Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this tutorial I'm going to explain how to create a monochromatic photo effect. Now monochromatic is similar to black and white, but instead you can use a color and all the different hues of that color. So in this example here, it's like a, a purple monochromatic photo. So you see it's like dark purple to lighter purple, and it kind of looks like a black and white photo. But as you can see, here's the original black and white and here's the monochromatic version. So what you want to do is start off with your original photo. Now this one already happened to come already in black and white so I'm not going to do anything but if your photo isn't already in black and white you want to go to layer, new adjustment layer, black and white. And at this point you can adjust the settings how you like you know if you turn the reds up it'll make the reds brighter and if you turn the reds down it'll make the reds more shadowed but again my photo is already in black and white so that's what it'll look like after your first step now to add the monochromatic color all we have to do is go to layer new adjustment layer and curves is my favorite way to do this because before we even start adding color we can take our shadows here pull them down a little bit and take our highlights here and pull them up a little bit to add a little bit of contrast and then to add color we just go on the different channels such as red here and you can pull them down a certain way so if we take the red out of the photo the blues come out or we can put the red in the photo and you can even pull it to the right a little bit I have a tutorial explaining curves more in depth, but it's a pretty simple tool, despite how it might look at first. So let's work on the greens here. I can bring them down, take the greens out a little bit, which will put purples in the photo. And I think that looks good for this effect and you could do whatever color you want you could do dark blue or something like that so it's similar to a sepia tone but it's just the monochrome of one color and I think it adds a different look and a different mood to a photo that you're using compared to the original black and white it's cool to see a photo not in its original color but still in a certain color that you want to use so thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, make sure you click the like button and uh, check out my channel for more. Also subscribe for updates on any future tutorials that I make. And I'll be glad to hear what you thought, so leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.